Here we're going to do a wax up of the tooth to one. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the articulator module. I'm going to give it a color. It's easier working with colors. And then we will select that specific tooth. And in the articular module, we're going to go name upper and name lower. Then click mounting table. And then we're going to reposition this model so that we can get a symmetry going. So we can use the mirror imaging. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And we're going to look at it from the bottom. And we're going to move this model up to that specific little notch over there. That little notch. And I think this should be okay. We're going to unhide the lower model. And then we can delete the table. Next, we're going to go to the splint module. We're going to call that target model and unhide the lower. So I'm going to make this add on so you can see on the left hand lower corner what I'm doing. Then back to the splint module. Here we're going to call this target model and we're going to go to the paint on layer. Now I've lost the color so we can put that in later again. I'm going to toggle. So this is the, I'm going to click on paint on layer and then we're going to toggle that little screen button. And then we're going to paint on a layer over this tooth. So I'm trying to stay within the boundaries of this specific tooth. It's not 100% possible, but close. I suppose it's possible instead of painting, we could have just drawn a line exactly like we do with creating a layer with splint. So that's probably a little bit more precise as far as margins and boundaries are concerned because we're actually cutting the, the mesh. So make sure you don't have any holes. I'm trying to visualize where this prep would actually stop because this would lay over the specific tooth. We'll just use a minus and get rid of a little bit and then the plus again to get a good coverage. And then we'll toggle that little screen again. And of course this is set to four millimeters. Let's set this to two millimeters, which gives us a penetration of one millimeter. Then we'll apply this layer and we will give it a quick sculpt. So basically, just to redefine and smooth these edges, especially in the contact areas, I don't want my, my cutting tool to take away too much of my mesial and distal contacts. That looks about right. And then we're going to, we're going to remesh this. Quite fine at 0 0.1 millimeters and apply it. This is going to be my cutting tool. So I'm going to wax up all the way down to where the cutting tools are and then select the object being cut and the object making the cut and then apply that. And then we can X delete this layer. And this gives me a rough tooth preparation. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to just smooth it and there's a few smoothing buttons all over the show just find yourself one That's looking really nice. There we go, that should do the trick. Exit the sculpt. Now it's time to cut off the tooth, the donor tooth. So we need a copy model. So I'm going to duplicate this model. We're going to go up to Patient's Own Teeth menu, duplicate the model, and that throws it into a Duplicates Collection. Then place your cursor and click Draw Gum Line. And then E to extrude. And we're going to E all the way through that contact area. And again, E, extrude through the contact area, shift, left click and F. Then, mark gum line, select a vertice close to the contact, and then offset contact line in a small extrusion. That's the first one is a small extrusion. And then thread it through the contact. When we get to the other side, Fuse it, just relax that one vertice a little bit. Again, offset contact line, E, short E, and then you can go with longer extrusions. Shift, left click and F. Then what we're going to do is we're going to then click on that one to section it. Inspect your cutting tool and cut. Now, of course, we've cut this tooth off the donor model. As you can see here, this is good for temporaries and immediate, so, but we don't need this model, so we're going to delete it and we're going to display the original model. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to just give it a, a, another color so we can actually visualize and see what's going on. Then what we're going to do, I'm trying to delete a color, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a color to it. So we're going to go and mirror image this one. So in the patient's own two teeth, menu we click on mirror and then we've got a exact mirror duplicate version of that specific tooth but of course we have to deal with the big gap so this is not too hard to deal with i'm going to move it a little bit and then in the pontix menu we can change this So the extrusion is a bit short. We're going to open up the tooth mesh. I'm going to close it again. And this time we're going to change that to a bullet shape. And we're going to toggle the edit and use the G key to extrude it upwards to make a bit of a root. Then there's still a little bit missing. But what I really want to do, I think we should remesh this tooth. But first of all, let us have a look at the heat map. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the model and that's 
select the model to map to and then I'm going to select the tooth and look at the heat map. Here we can visually see that it is too thin. In wireframe mode we can actually witness this very clearly. Now there's two ways to deal with it. We can move the tooth forward a bit or reshape the surface topography of that tooth or even prep the tooth a little bit more. In this case I'm moving it forward a little bit. Just using the G key on the keyboard and the, the arrow keys on the keyboard. So then this is what the mesh looks like. Ideally I want a nice transition between the tooth, crown and the root. So we're going to go up to the geometry, click on voxel remesh, leave that at 0 0.1 and apply. Then find yourself a, a smoothing sculpt. But before that I'm going to go into the edit mode in the setting tooth closed mesh menu and then pull the mesh like a sock. And that's looking quite good with the result. We're going to give the tooth a little bit of a smooth. So I'm looking for a smoothing tool, sculpt smooth, object, and give it a quick brush over. That's looking fantastic. The contact area a little bit. I'm happy with that. No complaints. Then what I want to do is, uh, ideally I want to make a temporary crown. So here we're going to expose the lower model just to check the bite, whether the bite is clear. And it looks good. If only we could bring that lateral tooth in a bit as well. It's sticking out a little bit on the mesial side. So here let's duplicate the specific tooth. Duplicate that tooth, shift D and move it into a different layer, into the duplicates layer. Because we don't want to lose what we've got. Then we're going to go all the way to the the cutting tools, this is the object being cut and we're going to select the, the other model as the object making the cut and we're going to apply that. And we've hidden the duplicate model duplicate version and here we go we've got a, a temporary crown temporary veneer <music> 